Um, my name is Karen Gunjiri Liang. I'm from Kenya. I work at the Africa Star Railway Operations Company here in West here in Nairobi. And I have been studying in China for five years. That's where I did my undergraduate. I'm also married to a Chinese man from Guangdong province. And so my connection with China goes way back for a couple of years. Uh, we went to Wuhan in October of 2019 for a railway management training seminar. It took us three weeks, but we spent around one week in Wuhan. And uh, out of all the cities we visited, I think our entire group was very impressed with Wuhan. The city is very organized, very beautiful. And I especially loved the night markets because I love shopping. It's a very beautiful city. It's very beautiful. The landscape, the lakes, the bridges. It's quite exciting to be in Wuhan. And the people are very warm and very welcoming. Eh? They have been appointed. The purpose for this trip was uh, the railway management training. So we were focusing more on going to school. So when we were in Wuhan, we went to the Wuhan High Speed Railway Training College. Eh? So this is where we spent most of our time at. We go there in the morning and leave in the evening. Eh? So you found that uh, in the school, those guys welcomed us. They would welcome us every morning. They'll give us breakfast. They'll take us through the railway courses. They really welcomed us with open arms and they wanted us to learn and see the technology that they, they have in Wuhan. About the outbreak of the coronavirus in Wuhan, I was shocked, especially because we'd just come back from there like a month prior. And also seeing the images of the empty streets was really a stark contrast to what we saw when we were there. Yeah, I remember that yeah. building. The city was vibrant. Up and down movements was very rampant. Huh? And then you get to hear that the city is under lockdown. There are no people, there are no cars. So my first thought was about uh, the Wuhan Technical, the High Speed Institute. What happened to those students? Actually, the news, I can say, it is very disturbing because the time I went to Wuhan, it was a very lively city. And uh, with the current situation that is currently going at Wuhan, I can just imagine uh, what the people are going through. Uh, looking at the impact uh, of Wuhan from the videos, clips and photos we've been able to see, it's quite sad uh, at what is happening. It was quite devastating. It broke our hearts to know that we were in a particular city in China. We interacted well with the people of that particular city and now they're having this disaster. So it was heartbreaking. I felt bad. I felt pain in my heart. I think that the Chinese government's response has been pretty prompt so far, granted at the, the magnitude of the situation. And I think for our countries, we also have something to learn. In the area of emergency response, I think we can learn a lot from China in terms of how they've handled the situation. For, for us, where we stand, we do one believe that the Republic of China is doing its best. First and foremost, in coming up with the hospital that uh, uh, that they, they came up with to just make sure that the coronavirus is contained. I have a lot of friends who are in China. I've been able to talk to them um, and I can say they are a little bit frightened but they're saying that the government of China is doing everything possible to contain the disease and they feel that uh, with no time uh, everything will be back to normal. As I mentioned earlier, I have family in China, that those are my in-laws and I'm in frequent contact with them because I always want to know how they're doing. And currently, definitely, their the life is a bit different because they have to stay home most of the time. It's definitely having an impact on them, but we are hoping for the best. The resilience of China is greater than this. And I also believe that the government is doing all that is possible to overcome the situation. My message to the people of Wuhan and China as large is that uh, we are with them in this particular season. We are supporting them and uh, we pray and uh, we urge them to keep on fighting because at some point we are going to contain this particular disease. We would want to request them to stand strong and be encouraged that we are here to support them in whatever little way that we can be able to support them and we believe that the whole thing will be through in a very short time. For the people of Wuhan, I would want to tell you that we have you in our hearts, we have you in our minds. We pray for you and we urge you to be strong, be courageous, motivate each other as a family, have that togetherness as a family, and you shall overcome. It shall be well. So Wuhan, Jiao. Wuhan, Jiao, Jungwa, Jiao.